Hi guys, Ian from Football Boots and today we are going to take some boots and we are going to attempt to make ourselves a chocolate football boot. So, things we need is some plaster of Paris, we are going to make a mould, we are going to try and set it into these boxes. Tom has already gone ahead and made our first box that we are going to put some of the, um, the mould into. So we are going to line this one, we will show you what we do with that and then we are going to put the boots in. Now do not be afraid, we are in fact going to use these fake 324K golds and the fake pair of Queen Yentos. Um, we will do one in one, one in the other one and then we will try and put them together to make the boot. So fingers crossed it works, it is going to be a little bit interesting and something we have not done before. Let us give it a go and see how we get on over the top. Right, so Tom is lining the box for us with some foil to start off with. Then he is going to put some cling film in there as well. This is all just to make sure the plaster of Paris mixture doesn't escape whilst it is still liquid. Now, to make the plaster of Paris itself, we do need some liquid, we need some water. We are mixing 1.4 litres of water with the plaster of Paris material. There is the completed box. Good to go. So the plaster of Paris is real clever stuff. You just pour in the powder and then it will slowly set over time depending on how much water you put in, the quicker or slower it sets. We haven't put in a huge amount of water in comparison to the plaster of Paris material and that means it is going to set quite quickly for us which is what we want so we can just make this boot as quickly as possible. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these boots, the Quinientos, we're going to put this side into the mold, mold and um, the 324Ks, we're going to put this side into the mold. So those are the ones that are going in. And what we need to do now is we're going to add a little bit of Vaseline to them and that's just going to make sure they don't stick too much to the mold once it's put in there so that they will come out. Otherwise we could have a bit of an issue trying to pull the boots out of the mold once it has set. Right, moment of truth. So Tom is now going to try pouring our plaster of Paris mixture into our first kind of mold casing. So we'll just pour it in and see how that goes. First off, let's get the green boots out of the way so we don't get any plaster of Paris on those. We'll um, protect, protect those. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Right, moment of truth, Tom. Let's put this first one in. We can try and set the first half of our boots. We'll make sure it goes at least halfway in. That's not bad, not bad. A few cracks in the front, we might have to patch that. Oh, there's a massive crack at the front, but that might not be a problem. We can patch that with something. Definitely a good shape in that. I'm quite liking that. We are back at it, and now the mold's looking pretty good. We are going to try and put some oil in there so the chocolate doesn't stick when we put it in. We have got ourselves the microwave out. We've grabbed ourselves a couple of bags of chocolate. We're going to melt this down in the microwave. Tom is already starting to pour the oil into the boot. And the idea is he's just going to put it in onto those cracks and crevices and try and make sure when we get the chocolate in there that it doesn't stick into all those nice little bits of fine detail. So he'll pour that around and the next thing we're going to do is warm up the chocolate and then we'll try and pour that into our first mold.
just press stop and then start. Yes, that's ready. Yeah, because we'll tip the bridge down. Not confident, not confident at all. I don't know where to start. Start with the other one, maybe. This one? Yeah. I, I just don't know. It's not budging. I need something to get in between and pry it out. It's gonna break, we're gonna lose the top of the hill. How do we feel about me just breaking it? We've got the other half. It's and you can piece it back together. Alright. Needs a clean up. So that glistening is the oil, we think. So there we go, we've wrapped it up like a true Easter surprise. This is our finished attempt at a boot. 
What do you guys think with it wrapped up in the foil? We're going to slowly reveal it to you now. Got to tell you that we kind of feel like it looks a bit like a 1950s football boot. Has that brown outer look to it. Uh, as soon as you get to see it, you're going to be able to tell us what you think. Please drop a comment in below. Let us know what you think of them. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a like. If you want to see similar videos, make sure you let us know some suggestions in the comments below. We'll try and do something else in the future. Have a great Easter. Enjoy the chocolate. What do you think of these? Thank you very much for watching. Go enjoy your Easter.